think we found everything in here. Okay. I should go join Chloe now. Join Chloe. Max, you better come check out these files. Uh-oh. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus. Uh, and my no. step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Of course. Assholes. You're the bad influence, if though. David is teaming no up offense, with Nathan Chloe. Prescott. Love you. That's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Uh-huh. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. What? Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. What? I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <laughs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in uh, here. Nathan We got our info. Let's bail. In cahoots but with David? Maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers <laughs> include mind reading? Maybe. Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. I it's love the it. powers of best friendship. Mm. I know how you roll. Yeah. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Uh-oh. Money! Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. Oh, God. That's a lot for the handicapped uh, Dude, there's $5,000. I'm gonna have to... I could pay Frank back tonight. Make the decision, aren't I? This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Yeah. I'm gonna have to make the decision, aren't I? Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Yeah. Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Uh... We're gonna leave the money. There's no doubt in my mind. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... <sighs> I've got my power to protect you, right? Exactly. There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But it's for the handicapped! But yes, Moral Max is right again. Thank you. I guess. Don't ever Let's steal get the hell out of this money for the handicapped. That's terrible. That's like an easy choice. Okay, laptop, computer. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Doesn't matter. Computer, turn off. What? What? I what? We regret to inform you that Nathan Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month, despite repeated warnings and leniency due to the crude outbursts in Mrs. Hoida's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 17th. Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day. Without a proper write-up for his files, Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. And please take him to fucking therapy because he is probably bipolar. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Update expunged record. Dear Principal Wells, we received a rather outrageous and possibly slanderous letter from somebody in the administration accusing Nathan of uncharacteristic, erratic behavior patterns. We are certain this must be a mistake. Otherwise, we fear that we may, that we will, take Nathan out of Blackwell to a more prestigious and better funded institution. Please respond with a copy of the expunged disciplinary warning report. Okay. Blackwell Incident Report. Nathan Prescott. The following is a list of reported incidents involving Nathan Prescott. There seems to be a pattern of outbursts and confrontations, followed by remorse and repentance. We suggest his parents remove him from the school and place him under expert psychological supervision. Call it. Okay. Um. Then why did they choose to not do that? Because they were saying, hey... Get out! It, outburst. They suggest his parents remove him. They were saying we might remove him if you don't 
expunge the record, so why did they expunge the record instead of just ha letting them take him back? I don't understand it. Throwing a desk in class, cursing at his English teacher, lighting firecrackers in the bathroom, stealing school supplies, threatening the school class, school custodian, attempted theft on campus, Tabanga statue. He tried to steal Tabanga. That son of a bitch. And the insanity continues. Rachel in the dark room. 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 Uh, Madsen and Prescott have both come to my office to warn me that Rachel Amber has been a drug mule in Mr. Madsen's talk radio terminology, acting as a front for another local dealer. Considering Rachel's exemplary status, I told David that I would need more concrete proof, and he promised he had more to show. I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following her and taking photographs. David would deny this, and given the questionable company Rachel was has been keeping. I'm not certain I can believe her right now. Okay, then. That's enough information for one day. Wait, wait. It's the red thing. It's a thing that doesn't matter. Okay. So, we left everything as if it was untouched? Yes? How do I lock the door behind me? Uh, maybe he'll just think that he forgot to lock it. Right? That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. <laughs> splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Spl Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Uh, yeah. I would agree. So, what does is, what is, uh, David Madsen think that, you know, Chloe's doing right now? Considering, you know, she's not home, she doesn't well, actually the attend, land. Fucking Blackwell. Deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind. Exactly. <clears throat> I guess. Maybe. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Trophies. Go Otters. Yay, otters. Vending machines, doesn't matter. Board that I can't really see. Championship something, something, training, something, something. Men's locker room! Jacket. Hey, there's a jacket. Why can't I look at the jacket? Jacket, jacket, jacket! I wanna see the jacket. Let me see the jacket. They won't let me see the jacket, I guys. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Oh no, lost goggles, I admit. Okay, can't read that this much. I admit I'm a goofball and misplaced my flexi wav swim goggles. If found, eternal gratitude and a $25 bean hip cafe gift card. Contact Ray Siren, R Siren at blackwellacademy.ed. Okay then. Yeah, that was scrawled handwriting that I cannot read. There's no jacket in the girls' room. Why well, can't I. I let me look at the jacket. The jacket. 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 All right, Chloe. Jacket. Boys or girls? Boys, because there's a jacket. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Huh. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. No, we're going in to see this jacket. It's a can of soda. Can of soda. Jacket. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. You don't want to, you know, check further? Make sure that you don't find any interesting notes at all? Zachary's jersey, bow chicka bow wow. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. That's a good point. You don't know where it's been. Uh, what are these? This must be for training kids. Oh, floaties, okay. I <laughs> thought there was something else not swimming related, but more... It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? No. I don't think it is. Warren! Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? 
because he's in love with you. And we must crush that love under the heel of our boots. Because I like Warren, really I do, he's a good friend, but I don't want the relationship. Isig! Some poor hipster lost their vape. Where did Chloe go? Graffiti! No worries, it's all Sometimes. bad. Sex me up. Boys locker room is right. Wait, what is this one? I guess I should consider this evolution. Damn, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you, love Logan. I was able to read that one. Yay. Why is there so much graffiti? Victoria loves the D. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. I'm sure she does. Max is a feminazi, you sons of bitches. Welcome to 1950. Anything else? I heart Warren. I bet you do. Right. Dana needs a baby daddy. Soap dispenser. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. I don't want to think about what guys are doing with the pink Max goo. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. I could think of what or guys would do with pink goo because I am a guy, but don't want to think about it. You shouldn't either. None of you should think about what they're doing with the pink goo. They don't need to use that much soap for their hands, let me tell you. Well, Those will be bros. I guess it does. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. Wow. Yeah. Pull! Thank God I thought I was going to have to censor this. Chloe... I don't think anybody has ever drowned here. I hope. Chloe is not naked, thank God. No offense, Chloe. Love ya, but... I, uh, yeah. Would not want to have to censor this. Swimming. Good combo. Because this will be the first video I would ever have to censor. Yes, we get it. Otters. Those files look exactly like the ones in the principal's office. Just like this desk looks just like the one in the principal's office. Rescue dummy! Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. But they've got those faces that you just love. Switch on. I did- oh, bright lights. I did it! Probably did it too early because I needed to look at stuff. She has a bathing suit on underneath her clothes? What? Not that I'm mad about that. It's just, you know. Who puts a bathing suit on? So, the big plan is win. win. I guess so. Underneath their clothes. That's just weird. Was she expecting to come swimming? Or does she just always wear her swimsuit? Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Oh, yeah. I already looked at that. That's just strange. Pumpkin! Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Right. Okay. Anything else? The otters. Oh, hey, we can get into the girls' bathroom from this side. Jesus! Time to do or dive, Max. I know, but, you know. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Right. Victoria Chase rules. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. I love the music. It's the opening credits. Or it's not the opening credits music, but it's... Uh, Dear Kate, I don't care. God. Well, Fuck we you care, too. dickhead. Yeah. Rachel abides. I hope so, friend. I love this music. It's the main menu music, and I can just listen to this for hours while I search through everything in the world. Brooke's locker. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Shit, why did I decide to go with him then? Why can't she and he go together? Can I set them up? Is that a way thing I can do? If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Oh yeah. Max in the 40s? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. I'm pretty sure she'd fit what? in. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Maybe. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? 
Who? Like Rachel Amber? Who? Whose locker is it? Kate! 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 Kate's locker. Why is there a soda in here, too? The soda thief. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Oh my Go gosh. Fuck no. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. <laughs> These are cool shots. No, they're not. They're pretty bad. Duck face. Terrible, terrible duck face. Wait, is my locker across from Victoria's like everything else? Like my room? Nope. The wit, it burns. Otters eat beavers. Ha 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 ha. So funny. Sock. Where does that other sock go? It disappears. Those are some musty ass old shirts. Who's are they? Aw, see, the, wo the women's room did have other things. They had socks, just like the men's had the jacket. Why don't I have a locker? Do I not come and swim? What the hell? Kate gets a locker and she's not even here anymore. Love you, Kate. Ah, fine. All right. I guess it's time to strip and go swimming. Wait, there's still more to, to look at. Maybe. Maybe not. At least she's not yelling at me to get in. No running, no diving. I'm running! Suck it! Can't stop me. I'm running. Oh god! Fooled ya. Don't touch. End of the world party. Oh. So this is the stuff set up for the party, huh? Destroy everything! Guest list. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Really? They put me as the bouncer? And I thought I was being nice to them, and they were not going to be bitches to me. Ah, it make me the bouncer. I'm going to say nobody gets to come in. Chuck! Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Oh, of course you make a Jaws reference. That's why we love you, Max. All right, Chloe. What's up? What's up, Chloe? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. That's... Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. <sighs> I don't have a swimsuit. Don't you dare! I'm not oh, like stop you. Stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Maybe I do. Oh, I'm just swimming in my Cowabunga. underwear. Okay. That works too, I guess. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. <laughs> I can't even watch any of those shark shows. Oh wow. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, who <laughs> wouldn't know about that? <laughs> uh, so much fun. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. That's and good. I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Oh. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Hey. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. <laughs> Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? To know the truth. You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if Kate didn't jump, but you would be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Right. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. 
And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Are we gonna I have hope a, so. Are we gonna have a Stop lesbian being relationship? Stop so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? <coughs> and I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Uh... Gross. Ew. I don't want any Blackwell bros over me. Especially Warren. There's a couple cute guys there, but... They probably think I'm a total nerd. Uh, nerds are hot. You just don't have any confidence yet. Unfortunately, that didn't come with my rewind power. <laughs> no worries. It, it never does. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Yay! Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping <laughs> instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. I, uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Yeah. It's gonna be cold. Burr. It's always chilly. We need to get the towels. Get the Gross. towels, Max. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. <laughs> Thanks. You would know. Oh shit. Hide! hide. Yep. Run and hide and run and oh shit. It's a timed event, isn't it? Hiding, 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 hiding. Where do I hide? 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 I know. We're going. We're going. We're getting. We're leaving. You shit. Like when we were kids. Where do I hide? I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. I'm gonna use both. Okay. Where do I... Hi. How are you? I'm gonna be super stealthy. It's stealth mode max. Hello? Hi. Anybody there? Nope. Hide. Hide like Chloe is. No? Okay. Fine. Don't hide like that. Better Max. not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Right. Did you get a different voice actor? Because you don't sound like the David Madsen. I Madison. heard something over here. No, you didn't. You heard nothing. Who's here? Nobody. I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. It's a figment of your imagination. Oh, oh, oh he tried to trick me. Hip, 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 hop, go, go, Max, go, Max, go, Max, go, Max, go, Max, go. Okay. Whew! That, what the fuck? Were there two David Madsons? I swear I just saw two David Madsons. Am I? Or was that another officer? The hell is going on? Oh, two. Stay hidden, Max. I'm leaning as if I'm gonna be able to see past what Max can see. I hate when I do that in games. It's like I act like I'm actually there, but that's a good thing, right? Because, you know, I'm getting into it. I'm in character. Okay, I think we're good. Or do I have to wait for them? Well, that's really jittery. Okay, I think we're safe. Alright, can I get Chloe now? How did... How did he not see her right there? He went right to the door. You're uh, so invisible. I wouldn't celebrate but just fail. yet. Get out of here. And then you can celebrate. Chase. Whew. Now get back to the door before they see you. Wait. Turn around. They're coming. Right. We have to find another way out. This is so lit up, you can see. Oh, this is bullshit. <clears throat> you can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Right. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Yeah, it sounds like a real smart idea. Into the car. Wouldn't he recognize your car? Get in. And wouldn't he also... Yeah, you set up the truck. <laughs> 
Yeah, he now <laughs> realizes it's you. We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> and he's yes, going to. So are. He's going to confront you when you get back to the house and be pissed. <gasps> but now he's not here, so we have time to search his files! You better listen for when the cop car. Not cop car. His car shows up, comes up, comes to the door. Shows up at the house, place, thing. It's already been. How is it? Morning. What? That doesn't make sense. I'm sure that David would have recognized that as her frickin' truck driving off and would therefore go, I should question Chloe about what the hell she was doing at Blackwell when she came home. But no, apparently not. Fine, be that way. Can't sleep? No, I think they're both able to sleep just fine. You know, I don't think there was an episode 3 opening to this. They didn't have entrance music, or not entrance music, uh, you know, intro music at all. They didn't have the Chaos Theory title show up at all. No, no, no. Intro. Take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Hell yeah. Go to bomb. Huh. Photo hog. Just gotta let go. <clears throat> it feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. And what if they decide to actually like search the uh... I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. Dorms. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Thank you. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Since you left, basically. But now I'm back, so you don't have to. I could find Rachel and pay Frank <clears throat> off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Oh no. Not music. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. No! Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl uh, have a test uh, today? Maybe. Possibly. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. It is. I just a need to get on my regular my school schedule again. Ah, damn it. Get up. We don't have time for this. We gotta stop the music before it screws us. No! I'm sorry. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Yes, can I? Damn it. I love this song. You do? Hopefully the owner doesn't. Hopefully the copyright owner doesn't love it enough to give me a strike, right? Don't, no, maybe. Okay, so glad she didn't blow up Blackwell last night. Almost glad. By the way, the drive-in actually is actually popular, so I'm buying the ticks now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Watch me. I will get Brooke or Stella, whichever one likes you, whoever it is, to come in, in my stead. Because I have things and I don't want to be your boy, your girlfriend. My bad. Well, three out of all is not terrible, right? Sure. La 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 la, don't. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. How come we didn't get to see that in episode one when we were in here? Did she just put it in there or something? Get dressed. Get dressed so we can. Oh. I don't think I'll be blushing today. <laughs> I think I know what we're gonna wear. Go in the closet. Go in the closet. I think we got the perfect idea. Man, if I had stayed hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Go in the closet. For clothes. Damn it. Why can't we go in? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Yeah. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes. Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. How? So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. 
That was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase. Among other things. Yeah. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. <laughs> Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Yeah, but that's, oh, not always, that's not always the best thing to get <laughs> somebody exactly Rachel like you. Maybe over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. <coughs> You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. That would have been a perfect setup combo. Something. How Frank I... might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. How do I get dressed, damn it? Door. Put some clothes on first, hillbilly. I'm trying to, but I can't get in the damn closet to, to put on Man, what I think I need to wear I for today. Hidden, David wouldn't be targeting me. Clothes on the floor won't let me get dressed. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. My own clothes, right. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Okay, so I had to do that first. Now I can get See in the closet. Find a suitable outfit in my fashion holes. Right. I was planning on doing that in the first place, but, you know. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Yes. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. Perfect. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. All right. You can always <clears throat> rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. Sounds you good. Suck. But that's like my spirit animal with the deer. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Is this really Stop how girls second act? Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever uh, and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. I knew it! I knew it! Lesbian relationship! No, I'm just joking, but yeah, we'll kiss her. Because you double dared me. You dared me, bitch! Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Damn straight. Unless he's into girl and girl action. He probably is. You're such a dork. A lot of guys are. Myself possibly included. Oh, man, that was possibly. priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Of course not. But she double do she double dared me. I gotta, I gotta. And she double dared me. Well, no, I don't have to because now everybody's gonna double dare me to do stuff that I don't want to do, and I refuse to Looking do it. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. <coughs> right. Ready for the mosh pit, shaka bra. What? Maybe not. Was that English? Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast. I have to uh, wake and bake first. As long as David's not here. Not Let's not rewind and find out, okay? As long as Davis not here. Thank God the music finally stopped. No offense, really. But copyright. Copyright, guys. Copyright. Come on. Oh my God. That smells so amazing. Kate! Sorry, don't care. Gotta, gotta talk to Kate. Okay. Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings. Your friend, Kate. Hey, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I will visit you as soon as I can. Promise. I had better follow through on that promise, damn it. It's like when we were kids here. Look at that. Just like Rachel. Bam! The bird! The bird! The bird! You're still here, birdie bird! No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Yeah! How are you here? Birdie bird! Bird! Bird, bird! Bird, bird! You're going to get in trouble if you're still here. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Here's flashback. the question. How have you been here since Monday? Has nobody taken a shower since Monday? That, that just seems like a bad idea. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. I always have to brush my teeth. I mean, come on. No cavities here, guys. None. And I'm 22 years old. That's like an accomplishment, considering I only brush once a day. Damn good. You know, I haven't gone through a dyeing my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Do I get that option? Because I will say no every time because I don't actually like blue that much. Stay safe, Birdie. Stay safe. Very hard in Madsen's house, I'm sure.